Hello, it's a great honor to speak to you today. Welcome to Clean Cut, and let's talk about the truth. This is where we can talk about life, reality, and anything else. There's just one rule. We have to use solid logic and common sense. I'm sure this is going to sound silly, since today what we're talking about is the furthest thing from the truth. Today, I want to talk about lies. I won't be telling lots of lies, though, just the truth about lies. Lies aren't exactly the opposite of the truth. The opposite of the truth is something called falsehood. Falsehood is a very general term. It just means anything that's not true. In fact, it's such a general way to say the opposite of truth that I probably won't give it a whole segment. Lies are pretty specific, though. They're not true either, of course, but there's a couple things to remember about lies that make them different from falsehoods. First, lies need to be deliberate on at least one person's part. If they're not deliberate, they're mistakes. It can be deliberate on the part of the person talking or on somebody else's part. In the first case, someone is just lying to you. In the second case, we say they're repeating someone else's lie. Second, lies don't need to be completely false. They only have to be partly false. For example, if I say, oh, there's a bear in that cave, but he's friendly, so don't worry about it. Well, part of that was true, but you still get eaten by a bear. So, yeah, lies can be partly true. In fact, it'd be hard for most people to swallow a lie that was entirely composed of falsehoods. For example, oh, there's no bear in there, and he's friendly. Not too many people would buy that. Since lies are deliberate, they always come from the person who's deliberately telling them. People sometimes don't like, believe, or want others to believe the truth, so they make something up to deceive you. Some people say that just because something is said by a person, that makes it true to them. Well, we've already disproved the concept of subjective truth and won't bother with it again. It's interesting to note, though, that while many people will defend subjective truth, I've never met a single person willing to defend subjective lies or falsehoods, which you'd think would be the next thing to follow from the whole subjectivity idea. Another interesting thing to note about lies is that they're definitely worse than the truth all the time. Why? Well, think about it this way. The purpose of understanding the truth is to make truthful conclusions, to get clear answers to the questions we ask. Truth does this, but falsehood fails to do it. Lies deliberately fail to do it. You see, lies are deliberate failures, nothing else. How else do we know that lies are worse than the truth? This isn't so complicated when you really think about it. A lot of people don't see this because they sometimes want to lie more than they want to tell the truth, but nobody wants to be on the receiving end. To put that another way, we all want people to be honest with us. Nobody likes being deceived. You might ask, well, what about fantasy stories? Those are lies and we like them. Fantasy stories don't count as a deception because we don't really believe those are true. We accept them as stories made for our amusement because that's the truth about them, so obviously fiction is different from lies. Finally, it's important to understand that people can tell lies about literally anything, even things as basic as logic and truth. Let me demonstrate. <coughs> logic isn't important, and there's no such thing as truth. See what I just did there? I told you two lies, one about logic and the other about truth. That proves that people can lie about just about everything, even things as basic as that. But wait a minute, why do people lie about things if they already know the truth about them? What goes on in a liar's head when he starts telling a lie? And how do people get at the truth? I want to understand that too, but I'll just have to save it for later. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.